Correct me if I'm wrong. Mama didn't sew. I I knew a little bit about know a little bit about fabrics, but not not like the real seamstresses do. But that is gorgeous. It's kind of waffle. It's so pretty. Love, love, love. You know what? I don't know why we're doing these fingernails, but I saw you girls doing it, so I just did it too. What's it for? Just tell me, tell me what it means, would you? I thought it looked kind of cool, so I, I just did it, but I, I don't know if there's a specific meaning behind it. <laughs> I might should ask before I do it sometime, I might get, do something wrong <laughs> that I don't like. Who knows? I don't know, but I know that one thing that it's a good day today that the Lord's made us and let him be glad and rejoice in it. Okay, and about myself, I had been, I had decided that I was going to sell some of my dolls. And to good homes, and I was going to, you know, put a lot of pretty things in there with them because I'm overrun over here with things that... I, I don't want them. The, my girls have worn them so much, but they're too good to give to a resale. You know what I mean? And, I mean, you want to see other people, so I'm going to go through them. But I decided I would sell some of my babies. And I was not sure which ones. I just wanted people to look at them and ask me, is this one for sale? And then make an offer. But with when you have what I these autoimmune diseases that I have, um... I'm telling you, you get where you can't tolerate sound or light sometimes. And, um, I mean, actually it sounds stupid, but even after I talk on the phone sometimes, it takes me a while to recuperate. It's something about auto-sensory and, and the neuro, neuron, neurological part. So... Sometimes I have to just lay in the quiet and like I don't have the TV going all the time. I can't take a lot of loud noises and like a ski close as a closet real fast and it's loud. I'll just jump that type thing. But when I get sensory overload, it makes me absolutely sick. Nauseated, break out in a sweat, feel like I'm going to faint, got to lay down sick. So, I had just woken up when I did my video about having a sale and selling some of my babies. And you know I struggle with it because I love my babies and I don't want to really get rid of any, but I do have a little problem with room for so many babies. I have room now, but I would like to, in the future, be able to get more. And I, so I woke up and said, yeah, I think it's a thing to do. And I thought, well... I'm going to sell um, Elizabeth because I love Elizabeth, don't get me wrong, but I was kind of going down the road. Who can I get rid of and who can't? Well, I, there were some of my old ones that I couldn't and some I could and some of the new ones, but just trial and elimination. And then also, I hadn't had Elizabeth as long, so I wouldn't attach her as much. So that's why that happened and I'm telling you that I started getting a lot of emails and a lot of texts and a lot of um, PMs and I got so sick I got so sick plus I've had an inner ear it feels like there's water in my ear all week and that makes your equilibrium kind of off but I got so sick that I just I had to close my eyes, and I, I think I was talking to Yvonne, and I don't even know if I was making sense, but I just knew I had to lay down, and I just had to stop the sale because I'm just not up to it. I'm not up to taking all the calls or the texts and negotiating and all that. I'm physically not up to it because 
like the computer, somebody's wanting to talk, the phone, the text, it's too much. I get sensory overload. I can do one at a time, but I can't do two or three. So I laid down, and, and I had to take two Benadryl because I was so dizzy and feeling very nauseated. And once I did that and woke up, I felt better. So my husband told me, just don't. You just don't sell them. They're fine. It's it's fine like it is. What he thinks they look fine. I wanted to just have like one or two in the baby bed, but I've got a bassinet. I can put some in and some different places. And he just said, just don't even worry about it. So at this time, I've taken my video down, and and I don't think I'm gonna sell any. I swear I'm too attached to sell them anyway. Because I love each and every one of them. And that's what that was about. Just a crazy lady trying to figure out how to make a little more room. And um, I thought, well, I'll make a little more room. They'll go to good homes. I'll still get to see them on video. And then um, I'll put that income back and... Someday, if I see a baby I want, I can use it for that. But no way, Jose. I think it was for the best because I just can't. I can't sell them. I love them so much. Um, and if I decide to do that again, I'll do better. Like Yvonne told me, you're going to have people asking when you say, especially when you say you want to trade, you know, and she's right. But, um... If I ever do it again, if I decide I do want to place one, I'll just do one at a time. And I could handle that, just one at a time, I think. And then I'll just choose, like, PM only or something like that. So that's what that was about. I was trying to make a little more room. And <laughs> I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I I love this little, these little diaper covers that Kim Brown sent. They're so soft and they make the baby's honey bow so, feel so real. She's, she feels real here on me anyway. She feels very real. But that was what that was about and y'all probably can't understand it because it sounds wacko. You know, somebody can't even have a sale because they're going to get sick to their stomach and feel bad but that's what happens I mean there's some people that have to lay flat in their bed for a while when they they have that it runs with chronic fatigue and I'm telling you sometimes you do have to because you just can't function you can't see you can't hear anything but today's a good day I'm doing good I, I know how to control that and I'm enjoying my babies um, I can't wait for Sunday's best and sock it to me Sunday. What is today? Thursday? What are we supposed to put on our babies today? I'll have to ask somebody because I'd like to do it. Can't wait for Sunday's best to put this new dress on. Oh, it'll be so pretty. Well, I better go for now. Uh, my daughter's coming. She comes every Friday now. Um, Dad's not doing that great and I want to get a shower and Go see my mom over here in the rehab nursing home slash rehab nursing home. She is able to stand now and walk a little bit, but she has trouble turning and pivoting. And she wanted to come home so bad last week. She just decided she'd just come home. She told Daddy, get her a scooter. She's coming home. But she couldn't come home. She can't even get up and down by herself, you know. So the therapist talked her out of it and said, Now, wait, wait. You need at least two more weeks. Give me at least two more weeks with you. And I think I'd get you on your feet. So I hope she can. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. And she and Daddy haven't been separated since they were... Well, she was 16 and Daddy was 21 when they got married. She was a baby. Uh, and then she had me when she was 18. So I've been with her, you know, a long time. And um, 
they just haven't been apart. They've always gone everywhere together, and they're so much in love. They still hold hands, and it's just hard to see them apart, but I think she'll get to come home. We're, we're just praying, and I think Daddy will find somebody to stay with them and help them out. I, I wish I were in better shape where I could. But, you know, life it takes some strange turns, but if you have faith, the Lord says he won't put on them more, I'll put more on us well, than we can stand or that the strength will come when we need it. And I found that that is honestly the truth. Honest the truth. You think you can't stand something, but when the when it gets tough, the tough get going. And I'm ready for fall. We're supposed to have a little rain tonight. And I am ready for some beautiful fall weather. I think it's going to be a nice fall this year. We see all four seasons here. And it's nice that way. Well, thank God for good friends, right? Thank God for... Yvonne, who is a dear friend of mine, not only that, but she sends me beautiful gifts. Look at that. And then, thank God for Linda Deskins, who I bought a beautiful baby from, and who has specifically once found a lot of these pretty dresses for me when I asked, did she have any? She's kind enough to find them, and then she found some more. And I, I'm thankful for her. I'm thankful for her. I'm thankful for so many of you in the community. And I want you to know that. And I appreciate everything you do for me. Appreciate your videos. Oh my, how I love your videos. And I just appreciate you coming to my channel. And communicating with me. And I wish there was more time in the day. So many of you I'd love to call and have about an hour's visit with. But there's not. And then, like I told you, I, I've gotten where I can't stay on the phone very long at a time. Um, I mean, it, it, don't worry about calling me because I love to get phone calls. If I start feeling sick, I'll tell you. But, oh, I enjoy so much visiting on the phone with you people. So much fun. Well, thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, Linda. And thank all of you out there. I think my little girl's wet, and I need to change her diapy. God bless y'all, and think positive thoughts. Negative reads negative. Positive reads positive. Let's try to be positive, and if you can and you want to, make a little video about Internet security because each of us could add a little bit of something. It doesn't have to be long, but just to remind children and Adults alike that we need to be very careful on the internet because the more you say things The more it's implanted in people's Brain and if we can help protect just one child It's it's well worth it So if you feel like it make a little Video about internet security And I might try to do another one with more statistics so thank you very much, and God bless from West Texas, and pray for America. God bless.